to Saw film, here's Leslie Halliwell. Leslie? I can speak with some authority about The Wild One, but when it came out in 1955, I personally booked and managed the only cinema in England which was allowed to play it. The British Board of Film Censors had banned it outright because it was about motorbike hooligans who terrorise a small town and they feared imitations in the home counties. Marlon Brando was a big name then and there were protests from frustrated film fans up and down the land. Most of the Fleet Street papers invited distinguished people to private screenings but they all upheld the ban. Many local watch committees were applied to for local certificates but none would comply except in Cambridge where I was able to point out with good effect the impressive credits of producer Stanley Kramer and the fact that The Wild One was already acknowledged in America as some kind of art. So the authorities said, yes, why not? And would you like an A certificate? We said we thought the X might be better and got it. We played The Wild One for two weeks to fairly packed houses. Picturegoer sent down a team of journalists who stayed for days and I found myself in print as, quote, the daring young man who shows the films that no one else will, unquote. By the way, The Wild One finally got its National X certificate in 1966, 11 years late. <laughs> begins here for me on this road. How the whole mess happened, I don't know. But I know it couldn't happen again in a million years. Maybe I could have stopped it early. But once the trouble was on its way, I was just going with it. 